Yo Leakies, it's Liazin here and welcome back to some Red Dead Redemption 1. So you guys, I'm on the grind. I'm trying my hardest to have time to edit, schedule videos, and have them out like it's nothing, okay? We're going back to the everyday schedule. I want to keep it that way and if I don't post every day just know that I am uh, just maybe having some issues or maybe um, dealing with stuff in my personal you know outside of YouTube or I just was too tired and feel like posting stuff or something okay all right so I told you guys in the last part we're going to Bonnie so let's go there now she's over here thank goodness um, when it comes to Red Dead or any Rockstar games the traveling to get to a mission or like anywhere it takes like five minutes tops and it's annoying <laughs> that's why me and Haley dropped tuners oh shoot have to come at 1 p.m. all right let's actually sleep then well hello mr. Marston how are you fine thank you how are you I'm fine thank you did you meet my father John Marston this is my father Drew McFarland oh, okay pleasure to meet you mr. Marston Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Yeah. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians, tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Sorry if I keep on, messing with my mouth. Mr. Marston, <laughs> do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mostly Bonnie's missions are not that crazy. Which is good. You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Never mind, it's about to go crazy. I remember this rope with Arthur. <laughs> ah, what is that, the lasso? Huh, yeah. Now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. All right, mount your horse. All right, let's run to it. I'm gonna call my horse Sora, I'm sorry. I'm calling wow. it Sora. Where's he going? God. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. Oh, hey, yeah, theories, let's go. Mr. Marston, I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret it sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now. I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy but I the know we're only as free as they say we are. Power is like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. 
all right i'm sorry like lately in the past videos i know you guys noticed like i keep messing with my one of my teeth i'll be doing this that's because my shark teeth i call it my shark teeth some people call it like their vampire teeth or like just i don't know look at her where there they are. oh snap Come on, Mr. okay go let's go but yeah i just messed with my shark teeth it's so sharp so like I just like how it Hold feels. Rope, Here we go. Come on, Here we go. Wait, I gotta. Let's go. Yeah. Hang on to that rope, Woo, I got one. Blow it up, Keep it still now. Am I? Right it. Oh. It, Mr. Oh. Oh. Come Stay on, centered. Man, Jesus. Come on, let's go. Oh, this ain't good. Oh my Hold God. Down, Hold me down. Too much. Oh, let right. That's it. Don't give up. Ooh. Relax now. Okay, we got it. Oh my nice God. Done, Mount your horse. Okay. Let me take you from here. You get back on your own horse. All right. Los a lasso another okay. Where are they? Come on, rope one of them. Oh shut up, Bonnie. I didn't know where they were. You got one. Okay. Hold on to him. Okay. Go for it, break him in. I gotta hold on. Alright. Hold on to it. Okay. That's okay. It. Okay. Okay. Whoa there. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Calm down. Calm, come on, calm, down. calm down. Yeah, calm down. Come on, come on. Whoa, come it's on. like that uh that bull ride, you know, as you guys see in bars and stuff. I mostly see that in the Sims. I don't really see that in real life. <laughs> never never yeah. never been on one. That wasn't so bad. Whoa. You're a regular Bronco buster, see boy. Did you get him? Come on. All right. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. Whoa! But it's great. And it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. All right, that mission was crazy. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural at busting Broncos? That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day if you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Okay. Sure. John Barson as a Jesus. Did you see that horse? Easy now. It's going crazy. I thought we helped it a little. Well. Maybe just a little bit. We just trying to calm down a little bit. I don't know. That horse is going crazy. Okay, now it's calm. Wow. Well. Like Farland's ranch. Okay, we did it. Well Where's that done, one? Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. All right. Come on, Mr. Oh. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. A company bought into the meeting place. All right. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. <laughs> I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a kid. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looks. 
You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. <laughs> okay. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. Okay. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. I gotta see what happened. Oh, okay. Got some people here. Right behind the herd. Uh, okay. Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there. <laughs> Just random people here, not even talking. That's fine. Just me and uh Bonnie can talk here. Where are we going? Are we going after more horses? Is that what we're doing? Whoa! Wait for my signal! And don't let those horses out of your sight! Right you are, miss! Let's go! Alright, I'm waiting for your signal. Oh my god! Oh, return. Oh, come on. Where are they? Right. Oh, I got to right behind it. Okay. Guide the herd towards the canyon. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Go that way. Woo. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Yeah. You're going the wrong way. Hey, hey, y'all going the wrong way. Yeah. Nope. To go that way. Go go that way. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. I'm not trying to kill any of y'all. Where's this one going? Excuse me. Go with your friends. Oh my god. How'd you get up there? But I can't. There you go. I hate that one of them goes the other way. Hurry up! Get get further to your your, your people. Okay. Easy. <laughs> I gotta make sure I stop my horse because I'm going way too fast. Yeah, go that way. Go that way. Yeah. Oh my God, go the other way. We're almost there. Oh. I swear, if it says you, oh okay, I would say you missed one horse. Mission failed. All right. Looks like we got the lot of them. What magnificent animals they are! Jesus. Hey, the stallion's getting away. Take the stallion? Oh no, that's, that's Megan, y'all. Get after him! That's Megan the stallion. Lasso. All right. Oh, I'm not near. Come on. You should already had that out. Oh, we failed. All right. All right. There we go. Press the hold to stop the lasso horse. Whoa. Woo! Relax okay. Now. Calm down. Almost Calm got down. You gotta stay chill. You gotta stay. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Whoa it's okay. There. Megan. Megan, chill. Megan. Come on. Megan. Oh, Megan. Calm. Damn. Relax. Relax. Come on. Come on. Relax. Oh. Oh my god. You ready for this? Once the sun stopped, you have a short time to dismount your horse. What? I tripped! Why is this so hard? Have it ready. You have it ready? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Nearly there. Calm down. Relax. Relax. Oh my God, this one is a bad one. I can't see. Come on, baby. Calm down. Calm down. Calm it down. Am I even supposed to do this? Oh. Oh my God, this one was a bad one. Go to Bonnie. Jeez. Oh my God, I swear if I kill this horse. Where are you going? Where are you going? Did I tell you to go that way? Obviously not. They need to put less rocks in this game. I get stuck on it very easily. Here, Bonnie, take this crazy horse. Jesus. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own? Megan? As a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Oh, it's a boy. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I can't call it Megan. It's a boy. All right. I got my honor and my horse yeah. something good. All right, now we're going to go to Williamson. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you good day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Oh. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. I do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce, <laughs> as long as you buy hundred ounces or more. That's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. <laughs> give it up, old man. Uh, yeah, be scared of me. Yeah. Um, listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I swear, Let's he turned on me. Farm, John, and hurry. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. All right, let's get on it. Drive the wagon to Ridge. Wood farm. Oh Load my up, God! Man. People need to stop walking. I like, you, do you not hear? And I about you, John Marston. Hood week in the week, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttlebutt. You're as full of wind as a horse with the collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. Elixirs? My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing Othello there has never been. And so shall you. A fair Iago or Cassio mate. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, Oh, John. shoot. The flourish. Oh, for the love of God, try to stay on the road. Oh, calm down. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use 
your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll drop this. you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be forming. Eventually, I will be Dang. home up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the queen. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a sham. You hop out here, John. Shoot, I wanted to hear. Foot. All right. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. Yeah. I'll do it. Go to the Wiccan's West Dickens show. Oh, can I break? Where's my horse at? Y'all, it's about to be October. New games are coming out. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm really ex. I'm a. Eh. It's made by Square Enix or Square Enix or whatever. But I just hope it's not another Marvel's Avengers type. And some other games. I don't know what else is coming out. Good to see you all, my friends. Uh -huh. Prepare to be. Bye, horsey. Friends. Hard-working souls of uh, Chola Springs, uh, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> what can what? you give it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by take a drink right now you sir <laughs> come up here oh Stand no right it's gonna be me it's gonna be me that's the spirit ladies and gentlemen pay close attention this poor wretched volunteer entirely unknown to me will demonstrate the effects of dr west dickens own patent tonic be you a cowpoke or athlete, this oh. miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? Is it? If you say so. That's <laughs> right, it is. You heard him. What are He's good selling sport fake you are, stuff? Sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. What? Wait, let me use. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did it. Wait, he is still adjusting to his powerful new eyes. Oh. Try again, friend. The time you actually have to hit it right on it. This is actually really good. I like this. I knew he was lying. Okay. I was lying, right? I was lying, right? The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. West. That's so cool. <laughs> Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case. I might kill him. Challenge to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling. All right, if you say right. so. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Here it comes.
after it's thrown. Okay. You gotta throw it. You ready to get embarrassed again? Ooh! Behold the power of elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away? You literally they don't work like that around here. Come on! Are you a man or not? Yeah, I can get my fist. A battle has been offered to our volunteer. Uh, look at him. The tonic is coursing through his veins. Press. You messed with the wrong fellow. Hold up. It's my fist. You sure you're a man, man? What's the button? Oh, it's R2. Ground attack. Let's go. Ba Yo. Uh huh. And a. Yeah. Alright, you can take me your fast by holding R1 with not time. Let's finish this. This dude can't fight at all. I I, pre I was pressing circle and square because I'm so used to the GTA now. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get this ends now. Oh, gotta go. Who the hell do you think you are? Bro, you, you just don't like losing. You're alive. Ooh! A marvelous shot, dear boy. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. That is not the elixir. I'm just a freaking outlaw, so I am cool. <laughs> It's not really Wrecky, right? right? Trying one bottle, this too was like a whole fuss. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. <laughs> not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes. Head on back to the real world. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, my sir, God. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn. <laughs> <laughs> he did not listen. But I think we're still going there. Yes, we are. All right, let's go to Bonnie's, and then we can do that Seth one. Come on, come on, let's go. Amos. Get him in there. Come on, come on. Amos. It's suddenly raining. Hey, miss. <laughs> I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're going to die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. <laughs> All right, dealing with more horses, I think. Come on, Mr. Marston, hurry! Yeah. Oh, it's raining. Oh, you can hear like the sound of like the water. I don't the look good. I'm starting to think right. somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. It's gonna be difficult to talk in this weather. Stay close. We don't want to lose each other. Of course. Whoa! What? Oh, there they are. Get out. Oh, these are cows. Easy now. Drive them over to the 
pasture by the old oak tree. We'll merge them with the other herd there. All right, 11 out of 11, move the herd near the old, okay. Shoot, if I miss one. The weather changes fast out here. This storm came out of nowhere. Hey, hey, stay. Whoa there. Hey. Hey. Hey, go back to your family or I'll eat you. Come on. The straggler returns to the herd. The symbol was okay. Well, it's not moving any faster. It's almost there. Can y'all just wait for him? Don't give up now. We're nearly there. Oh, there we go. Let's go. I was like, wait for your family. Oh my god, they're running from the cliff! Move in front of her to slow them down. No, oh no. my god. Oh my Oh my god, the patrol is my break. Hey. 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 Yeah. I need to stop. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. Oh my god, that one's going. Hey. Excuse me. Go that way. I just killed. I don't know what I killed. Whoa, go the other way. Come on. Are you coming? As you guys should. Go. Yeah, go that way. This one really wants to die. Hey. Okay. I'm gonna make this one stop. Bonnie, I'm gonna make this one stop. Y'all need to... Why is it turning bad? Return to Bonnie? What? What? That horse about to, I mean, that cow about to die. Oh, okay. I think that's all of them. Let's get them back to the ranch before this weather gets any worse. All right. Yeah. Go that way. I'm following y'all. This is such a random mission for me. Like, I am helping Bonnie because she did save our lives. That's what I, I'll give her credit for that. But, you know, I just have one action. I already got some a little bit. I know how to fight now. That's what I was trying to do in the second part. Trying to beat that dude up that was trying to steal that girl's money. Or something. Come on. They just stand there. Like, go. If y'all think about going the other way, then go the other way. Don't just stand there. Come on, little cow. And the AIs are not helping like, as usual. It's like, I gotta deal with this one going the opposite direction. I didn't know people do this back then. God, it must have been hard. Cows going the wrong way. I remember one mission, I killed one of them on accident or I killed like somebody, a human. I don't know why she's talking to me like that when I'm literally doing my job. She better not be talking to me because I'm doing that. I'm doing what I'm trying to do. Get your darn cows. We get it, Bonnie. We get it. They're here. You better be saying that to them because I literally did all that. All me. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Woo! Game almost crashed. Alright. It's another mission with Bonnie. I'm gonna actually stop it right here. Next mission we're going to uh that S there. I said I was going to do that mission, but we're going to close to 50 minutes, and I'm trying not to 
Oh my god, I'm, I'm trying not to record oh. as long. i see you guys in the next part of Red Dead. Don't worry, we're gonna, I'm going to be trying to uh, record this game every day. There's 60 missions in this one, so I'm going to like you know do like four or five uh missions of video for you guys all right so i'll see you guys in the next part thank you guys so much for watching and yeah peace yeah, out you guys yeah. i can make you famous i can make you crazy i can make you fall in love but i still ain't your baby